I have a lot of rejection emails in my inbox right now that I can share with you because I didn't have the experience even though I was working at help desk. And what you need to do is probably follow my path because I think it works. It worked for me and I hope it works for you as well. Hello, my name is Howard and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a very popular question that a lot of people ask me almost every time when I post a video and that is, what should I do to get my first job in cybersecurity? What, what are the skills that I need to learn and where should I get started? And that's the question that I'm going to answer today for most of you out there. I'm going to answer this question in two parts. First, I'm going to explain the distinction and why there's a problem where there are so many jobs out there that require people to fill. And also there are so many of you who want those jobs, but you cannot seem to connect. Then the second part is I'm going to explain what you as an individual can do to position yourself for one of those positions that you are interested in. So first let's answer the question. If you read the news, you say there are thousands of cybersecurity jobs that need people to fill. Then I know that there are a lot of you guys who ask me what you need to do and you really want to get those jobs that are out there waiting for you. So what's the deal here? Why can't you just go out there and get that job? Why is it that when you apply for a job, they never respond back to you or they respond with a rejection? The first thing that we need to understand is those jobs are cybersecurity jobs. They're not entry level technology jobs. Cybersecurity field assumes that you have basic understanding of certain technologies before you can work as a cybersecurity professional. In order for you to defend systems, networks, and code, you need to be able to understand how they work. So before you start defending anything, you need to know how it works. You need to have a solid foundation on how it works. That's the reason why a lot of people struggle to get a cybersecurity job. So people who end up moving into cybersecurity jobs usually come from one of these three areas. That is networking, system administration or development. Some people have done all three. Some people have a combination of these. And that's where the most important thing that you need to understand is that's where most people come from. And if you don't have that knowledge, it's up to you to really take it upon yourself and fill those gaps and really have a good understanding of one of these three top topics that I just mentioned. Because without a solid understanding of how networks work, of how systems work, it's going to be very difficult for you to defend against attacks on those systems that you don't know how they work. So that's the first thing that we need to uh, get out of the way is that one of those things need to be covered. So you might be asking yourself, well, what if I don't have any background in system administration, networking or development? What should I do? Most people actually get that knowledge from say college classes, uh, some certification classes, but maybe you haven't taken any college classes that teach some development or system administration. Maybe you haven't studied, you're just studying out. Then what can you do? On this channel, IT Security Labs, I specifically created this channel because it's my passion to show you how to learn on your own time by yourself and learn what you're passionate about. Several years ago, myself i was actually in your position where i wanted so bad to move from a help desk position to a security cyber security position and i started applying it was almost impossible to get a job i applied to hundreds of jobs and i got rejected every single time i have a lot of rejection emails in my inbox right now that i can share with you because i didn't have the experience even though i was working at help desk and what you need to do is probably follow my path because I think it works. It worked for me and I hope it works for you as well. And that is sit down, create a map, be honest with yourself. The very first part is go out there, find out which jobs you're interested in. If you're interested in becoming a penetration tester, an ethical hacker, find out what's required of a penetration tester or an ethical hacker. List the top 10 skills that are posted in job boards for a penetration tester. Find out if you have any of them. And if you don't, 
find out how you can get them. A quick tip is you can create a lab around those skills and learn that way. So if you're interested in defending, same thing, find out what network defenders uh, out there do. Find a job title, network engineer, whatever you find, uh, and really reverse engineer that process. And the best way and the easiest way to do this is go and apply for jobs, IT jobs that give you those skills. For example, if you want to be a network defender, go and apply for a network analyst job, an entry level help desk job. Then while you are there, learn as much as you can about the network and how it works. Try to get promoted in that job and spend six, eight months, one year in that job learning as much as you can. And during that process, what you want to be doing is while you're learning about whatever skills that you are after, say system administration, uh, networking, get certifications that are relevant to those skills. For example, if you wanted to be a network engineer, you can go out there and become a help desk analyst, get your network plus, CompTIA network plus, uh, get your CCNA, for example, while you're working there, get your security certifications where the security plus, this is going to complement the experience that you're learning on the help desk, as well as uh, validate through the HR robots that are out there that will be scre screening people based on credentials, for example. So you want a combination of both certifications and some experience under your belt. During this time, you want to really hone even more skills by making sure that you learn more than the position is offering you. Most help desk positions will require you maybe to answer phone calls all day and escalate them. During that time, when you're doing that during the day, come, come home, develop your skills in networking, create a really nice network, a Cisco network, uh, whatever network you want. Or if you wanna learn about cloud technologies, deploy machines in the cloud, learn as much as you can during your free time. Then go to work and really communicate your need to those people and say, hey, so you know, I'm doing this right now, but I'm really passionate about networking. Can I shadow you the next time you are going to be upgrading the switches? Can I help you when you're deploying systems? If you want to learn system administration, volunteer yourself, let your intent known at work, let them know, hey, I really want to learn these things. So say, what if you don't get that help desk job? What if you don't even have that job? you want to start somewhere, then you really want to start by helping, letting anyone in your network know. Go on your Facebook post and say, if anyone is knows who is hiring for an entry level IT job, I'm looking for, you need to do that. If you have a LinkedIn, post on your LinkedIn. Someone is bound to know someone. At the same time, be applying, apply for those jobs that you see out there and Get, you, get your hands in there. Once you have your lab working, you have an entry level IT job where you're learning the skills that you need, then you can also start working on your certifications in tandem. And if you do these three, three things together, you actually have gained enough skills and amassed some certifications that might help you really be competitive when you apply for that first job. It's very difficult for you to just go and get a cybersecurity job without any background in technology. And if you do, it's really, really rare. So I'm not saying it's not possible, it's possible, but it's rare. You need to start somewhere and this is a very practical guide, okay? But if your goal is to end up in cybersecurity, be intentional, reverse engineer this process. I believe you can do it. On this channel, I actually am going to buy a server. I'm going to start showing you what you can do, where you can get started. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, you will get to see me show you some of the basic things that you can do, like de deploying web servers, learning automation. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video.